there we go uh, welcome back everybody Tom here from T and BH gaming uh, you're back in railroads online guys um, we can get another video out here uh, there's been an update we're gonna go over it here in just a minute and then uh, we'll get back into the game here and and uh, show you what I did some stuff off camera and I'll show you guys what I did and we can uh, continue on with some track building um, we have to yeah we have to continue with track building because I have to get all the way to the sawmill before we can even start running any trains so um, I just built from the uh, added some stuff to the uh, to the freight depot yard and then uh built to the sawmill and built a yard in the sawmill and uh did that off camera and, and we'll see that in just a minute but right now let's switch over and get to the oh by the way guys i want to apologize for the end of the last video um apparently i hit a hot key for the obs that uh change the screen on uh, from the main game screen to the secondary uh, one of my secondary screens so I have three screens so um, but I continue playing just like you guys were watching and, and I just realized uh, uh, taking a look at the video and trying to figure out where I left off that the uh, last part of that video was uh just you guys looking at the uh my uh steam screen so um i fixed that hotkey so we don't do that again so uh let's get into this so uh we'll switch over or to that screen there it is and as you can see uh then a new update came out uh yesterday as a matter of fact um the loading screen and rights and alerts update uh, we'll go through it real quick if you guys want to read a lot of it I'll let you go on to the go on to you can go to steam and look it up or you can go to the uh, it was on my website I'm sure it's on there too um, but it's the uh, it's out now on beta the loading screen and rights and alerts update hello there everyone today is the day we just released the newest update to the beta branch for you to try and test out the loading screen rights and alerts update is now is out now and playable on the beta branch this includes this update tackles above all the user experience of the game and gives you useful tools and satisfying transitions to put up uh, oh, an overall smoother experience when playing the game. Let's dive into the details. Okay, screen satisfying screen transitions. So they have new uh, screen transitions instead of the same old screen. You note know, you have several. They have put up several uh, screens: uh, Lake Valley, Pine Valley, Aurora Valley, um, among I think a couple others. Um, but they have uh, uh, tired of boring and plain loading screen. With the loading screen update, we have added several new loading screens. So maybe it's just the three uh, loading screens for the three different maps. But each featuring a different beautiful picture of the maps. While waiting, you will be provided with interesting and funny information about the game. Going from helpful tips to random facts. Uh, enjoy the pleasant view and the effortless transition to the next screen. Okay. Uh, and then the game uh, says the game is in your hands. Uh, so this is the uh, host update that, that they were talking about. Um, as the host... You set the rules for your session to give the host the possibility to organize the game session. We have added a permission system that allows the host of a session to set individual permissions for each player. This can be used to give each player an individual role, e.g. player one can 
build tracks and player two is allowed to drive trains so here's the uh, uh, like I said, I'll let you guys read all of this if you want to um, on the screen, sir. But you can allow them, you know, somebody can build tracks, somebody can demolish, somebody can build facilities, somebody can purchase, somebody can control switches. Uh, I mean, you can have somebody on there that you don't want them doing nothing but being a switch man. You just allow them to do switches and nothing else. And that's all they'll be allowed to do. So, um um, remove vegetation, rerail, whatever. So, but you're these are the things that you will uh, be able to allow people to do: build, demolish facilities, purchase switches, vehicles, remove vegetation, and rerail. Um, new, your new most appreciated supporter. Uh, supporter who? Okay, check out the new alert system we have added with this update to give you a helping hand on keeping your work on. The railroad efficiently in check, effectively in check. Sorry, guys, I can't read. From now on, you will get specific warnings, reminders, and other information that concerns your industries, your locomotives, and more. So you don't have to inconveniently check everything yourself. These alerts could, e.g., include information about an empty water tank or production state of an industry. Uh, so you want to know the best part the Mac Maxi map Contains all of the current information combined so you'll always know what's going on On your map and where you input and work might be needed uh, In case you prefer to organizing your railroad business yourself You can deactivate this feature in the settings at any time so you can turn it off. I, I uh, looked at it when I loaded the game a minute ago to to see where I was at in the game. Um, it uh, all them alerts started going off automatically. So um, it, it may be annoying to some. It's just something you'll have to play with. And if you like it, you do. If you don't, you can deactivate it. Um, a new content added to the loading screens, of course. Um, added player permissions to multiplayer. Um, once the game has been started, you can adjust the permissions for each player. Uh, you can kick and ban players from the server. Um, the following permissions can be set individually. Like we said, build, demolish, industry, and facilities. Purchase, switches, vehicles, remove, vegetation, and rerail. Uh, they added gameplay alerts. Um, Industry has stopped producing because storage is full. Industry has stopped producing because storage is empty. Uh, freight cars full. Uh, locomotives low on fuel. Locomotive low on water in the boiler. I don't know why you'd be low on fuel in the boiler. But okay. Locomotive low on steam. Tender low on fuel. Tender low on water. Uh, gameplay alerts are also displayed on the maxi map for the industries. Yellow icon, goods in empty. Uh, red icon, goods out full. Um, let's see, improved gameplay performance. With the latest build, we improved the gameplay performance. The performance optimization is an ongoing process we continue to work on. Please note performances may vary on what kind of hardware players are running on their PC. Yeah, yeah. New features. Regulator. Oh, okay, yeah. They added these key bindings in third person while driving the, the while in the driving menu. Um, you can control the regulator with double WS, control the brake with ED, reverser is QA, compressor is TG, generator, UJ. Center of the cock C, bell on and off B, sander X. And you can go in and change those key bindings to whatever you want. Um, switches can now be toggled by only one mouse button. Okay, so no more right mouse button, left mouse button to control the switches. You just click the one mouse button. The left mouse button is default and uh, it'll click it left or right whichever way it's opposite from where it is 
and then these bug fixes and you guys can go through and read them if you want but so that's it for the uh rights what was it the oh loading screen rights and alerts update so let's get back into the game here guys so we're gonna go play uh oak server and we are on um Right there, new YouTube playthrough, PV map. Um, we'll go back to there for a minute. Put in the password, and we're going to start the game. And there's one of your new loading screens, guys. Pine Valley. Fun. Well, I missed that fun fact. Uh, Railroads Online was invented. Wow. That loaded pretty quick. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, um, here we are. We are at the sawmill. So this is where I left off building the sawmill. Let me uh, go G and re-rail. And we'll get up here in the sky, guys, so you can see what I've done to the sawmill. So you see where I came in from? Uh, see where I came in from the freight depot here? Um, whoa, get back up there. i got to get some of them trees out of the way. Um, I did a three-way switch here. That's going to go to the sawmill on the left. This goes to the uh, or to the logging camp. This goes to the uh, that's going to go to uh, the smelter. Uh, this goes to the sawmill. This goes to the lumber side of the sawmill, and this goes to the uh, well. This goes in the lumber side of the sawmill too. But um, so did I? Did I put that? I don't know if I did or not. Did I put that around there where it can go, where we can go into the logging? No, I didn't. Okay, so it's just going to go to the lumber side. Um, but you can, uh, but from here you can come in this way and you can go straight across around to the lumber side. Then you can, or you can come, uh, or you can go left and go up to the logging camp and then. But from the logging camp, I did put, you can either go to the lumber side or you can go into the log side. And the log side, I think, I put is a, a dead end? Or no, yeah, I did loop it around. It's looped around so you can come around, come back into the logging side and go around. So I did build a loop. Uh, and I put a little, uh, um, firewood facility here so we can get some firewood for our machines and I'm going to build this up a little bit more um, I put a I need to put I didn't I need to put a let's do that right here right now let's go ahead we want to go ahead guys I want to put a uh, this is the one um, guys where I uh, that's the key I hit, the binding key I hit the uh, the other day that switched the screens on us. So um, I didn't want to make sure I didn't do that again, so I went and figured out which one it was. And let's get to see if we can get this lined up with our track. Um, that looks about right, I think. Don't you think, guys? All right, we're gonna move that over here, and I'm gonna put it right about. Let's put it right about there. All right, so now we can get back here if we want to. So we need to go to. Let's get rerail. Rerail helps you fly, guys. And in case you didn't know, you can fly with rerail now instead of just. So we do need to go to. Did I put this one up? Well, what did I do with this one? I just dead ended that right there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Uh, build a yard of some sort, or maybe I'll send it around this mountain. That little mountain or a molehill, whatever there, mound, whatever. Send it around this way and up to the logging camp. We could, but um, let's get a straight shot right here to the logging camp uh, so uh, G and 
units. I um, see what we got here first. Looks like we're gonna need some kind of bridge there, cause that looks pretty. Well, let's see how far we can go. Right there. So I think right there this is going to be as far as we're going to go that way. We just mound. Um, we will put us a little. What are we doing? Like 2.5, I think, is what I usually do. And then put us a bridge. And we we'll use this one. And should we come back down to earth here? Or about there, we'll put it. And then we'll go back and get us another wall, another 2.5, boom. And then we can go back to Earth, I believe. But we're going to have to go at least that high, I think. So. <clears throat> Let's go uh, up. So we can see where we're at. Okay, so we need to... Wow, I probably needed to turn a lot more. So do we want to climb that? Or do we want to go around it? Even if we go around it, we got to get up at some time. Over that hill. All right, let's go back. We're going to, we're going to get rid of this. I keep forgetting we can do this. Um, in case I didn't tell you guys that last time. You go to this wheel and you can click the demolish. You can click the re-rail. You can click the uh, cut down trees. You can bring up those theodolites, those track laying efforts. And then you can bring up uh, the... Uh, side-by-side -side rail so this this lets you build rail side-by-side -side exactly the same as the one you just laid and uh, so you can uh, lay double track it's really good for laying double track guys where was I it's over here there we are So I need to turn this. So let's go get our bridge again. And we're going to need to turn this bridge. I'm on one. too far I think right about what the crap's going on there oh that's why right about I think there so we know we're good there so let's go down so we can see how far we are off the ground 
Up there, yeah. Oh, let's get our get straighten back up here. There we go. Oh, 2.5 right there. Now we can go back to regular. Now, I'm going to try those theodolites. So if I put one right here, and you see it's going that way, guys. So you see that's telling you that there's no incline there. But if I go like this, and I keep going like this, and you can see it's pointing back to that other one. So it points back to the one that you laid, so you know if your track's straight or not. Still no incline. Still no incline. I don't you can't climb up so you can't get above it but we know we want to go here so there's no incline there we go one percent well it went back to zero all right here we go we're going to get up here on the seal and it's going to tell us exactly what the incline would be from that last piece of track so right here we would be at a 1.2 percent that's not bad that's not bad at all um, but, okay, so if we went to right here, the top of this will be 1.2%, and then we will go from here, here we would be 2.8 percent there's 2.3 2.5 so that's yes telling us 2.6 so that's telling us that 2.8 2.9 2.3 2.4 2.8, 2.9, So this is telling us that this is the ridge. This is the top, right here. So then we can go back to where we were. Here. So we know if we bring that way, we can tell that if we start off on our incline, let me get the wee rail so I can see where I'm at. Where I left off. Get back up there. There it is. So if we go from here and I'm going to go ahead and demolish that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, T. And then T switches the demolish type. Right now we're on rails, groundwork, bridges, facilities, locomotive props, all. So we go from here. We know in order to get to that one, that first uh, theolite we set down, we need to be going up 1.2%. So we're going to raise this to 1.5 and then we're going to start going up and that's as far as we can go up but what I want to do first
see it's showing you the 2.9 percent up there that was our first one that's the 2.9 and there's 2.9 right so we knew but we knew this one was 1.2 right So I need to turn this see and that tells me right where I'm going to be on my and then I can play with it and end up right there. So now I know where I want to be, or what uh, what a turn degree of turn I need. I can go back to where it starts. And right there is as high as I can go with groundwork. So then I need this and it needs to be at 1.5 on 2.5 meters get 2.5 meters there we go then I need a bridge up one and a half percent and the turn should put me right where I need to be on that hill so yeah I think I'm kind of liking that deal do like yeah actually it put me up a little bit higher than I wanted to be so let's come down can go here and do a 2.5 and then we can go here and do our groundwork so we were real close to being in line with our uh, Get that 10 so it goes further so we're real close to being in line with our thing but i want to put it back anyway we were at 500 and something weren't we yeah we'll put it at 500 so we go right there and we were let's is that going to stay ground yeah that's going to stay ground Alright, so let's go over here and see where we can where we're gonna be at here. Right there. So that's gonna be our turn radius. That's three hundred, that's good. And we want to be at 2.5%. Think. I think we can get away with that. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get away with that. So 2.5%. So let's go back here. Right, we got our 
be a door like there and we're gonna go here as far as we can right there and then we can demolish this we can go here we will put in our We had to go 2.5 percent. Oop! I had it right there. And we need bridge. Up 2.5 percent. See if that gets us where we need to be right here. It does. Gets us right there. So we'll go right here. I think that'll be good enough. We'll put in our concrete. One, two, two, two point five. And then we'll do our this and do we need yeah we need to come up 2.5 yep there's just enough groundwork under there to keep it going but I think we need to quit turning here. We need to go straight. Oh, wow. That's not looking good at all. So let's go up here and see what we got. Yeah, that's coming up too much of a turn. That needed to go straight back here. So we needed to go straight from here. Yep. All right. So we need to do this over with. That's for sure. Probably needed to go straight from here. All right. Let's let's do this. Uh, I, I hate that. I keep forgetting I can do this. So let's take care of that. Let's get that out of the way and that out of the way. Um, so we know we need to go up 2.5 from here. Well, and we're going to go straight. So let's go straight and see what we got. To get up here, we need. Wow, we need to go 3%. 4.5% to get there. What is the difference in that and this? Wow. We may need to go over here. Oh no, there's 2.5. Okay. Why is that curve? And we go over just a little bit. We can do 2.5. But if we go straight, it goes down into the ground. I just don't get that. But anyway, curve gets us a little bit more of an incline. So we're going to do that because we need to go that way. And we need to have enough room to swoop back around anyway. So, all right. So we know we need to go 2.5 from there. Um, at a curve, at a little bit of a curve. And so let's get our concrete here. 2.5. And then we need to get a bridge here. 2.5 and 
brings us up to here. Say right about there. And back to the concrete. And I don't know if we need to do anything else there. Maybe we can just get away with that. Just a little. One percent. Yeah, one percent will give it to us. All right, one percent will take us out this way. Then we can go to flat. There we go. And we'll put it there for now. Um, we'll kind of see where I'm at, how close I am. I think I need to be over more. I do. I do, I do, I do. We do need to be over some more. We're still too close to make a rounding turn. If we stay that close, it's going to be like a 30% curve. And I'm really trying to get away from that, so... Um, let's see if we can curve this a little more. I had to come up 1%, I think I said it was. Let's curve around here a little more. Let's try 250 meter turb. Curve, turb, turb, I'm a turb. Let's try 200 on the turb. Let's go there with it, and then go back to zero. What does that look like there? Let's just put it there, and then let's go over here and let's uh, build our track out so we see what we need to come out to. Um, Let's go with this. Remember that curve was at 200, I think it was. So, and we'll go here. We'll come to right here, and then I want to put a switch in here. Um, this switch, I think. Yeah, that's the one. And then we'll put this switch in here. So we can have uh, another set, of, another piece of track off of here. So then we put that switch in there. switch in there like that so we can have another piece of track off of here Let's 
6.7 I think it is guys track and then we can move this and then we can delete this and just put a, a piece of track in here also like that guys that is so awesome that now you can just it's going straight it's going straight but if I just look over to that track it attaches it to that track without having to switch the mode of uh, like going from circle mode to straight track it automatically connects it so that's that is that very very cool um, I'm torn on whether this should all be end of track stuff or whether I should make a loop around I'm really torn for now I'm going to leave this right here at the end um, and we'll We'll see where we go from there. Um, I am going to make this in the line track though. So I'm going to do this without the wall, without the rails. And again, we're going to do 6.7 or 7.6 or is it 6.7? It might be 6.7. All right, now we got to get rid of these. Ah, it must be 6.8. Oh, well. <clears throat> so. so 6.8. So we got our end of line track. Now we need to make the track on the other side. So we put our track here. And again, we need this like that. And I want one here going the other way. Nope. It was the right way, just the wrong. There we go. But I think I want to switch on that side, so that means that the track's going that way. So we need to go like that. There, that's better. We just gotta hope that we can tie this together now somehow. So um, let's. We know we're gonna go.
Alright. And then this we put the other way. So it goes straight. Alright. So I, I know I want to make a loop on this side to loop all the way around and come back around so we can get going down in the right direction. Um But do I make this one? Come around and just back back up into this one or pull forward into this one, however we need to do it. We're going to go loop around and loop around and then come through and back back up into this one. If that's the case, then the loop needs to be... And I need just a main line running through here. That's, yep, yeah, that's what we'll do, guys. We'll make this a main that runs through here. take this and I put a switch that goes nope right switch wrong uh, wrong track so well I didn't need to do that but I do need to do this and it was which one did I grab I think it was this one so I need to do that track right there we go yeah and will that tie into that without making it look ugly does that look too awful ugly oh I don't guess so That's almost too much. So if we put our stone wall here and make it turn let's see what 200 degrees looks like 200 degrees is not going to be enough 90 is not going to be enough 80 is not going to be enough Fifty is not going to be enough 60 Maybe? No, I don't think so. 50? <laughs> 50 might be enough, but then how far we're going to have to come up.
and then if we put a theodolite there right and then we go around the corner here put one there and keep on going around the corner here Is that all we're coming up? Really? All right. Said five so let's give it a shot and see what happens I'm not sure 5% will do it but we will try it and see that so let's go got to do the incline five percent I think it's gonna be more than that but and five percent take it around and see what we get as far as we can go there so what five percent that's gonna be right but I don't think we need to do a 50 to 50 meter turn on that first part um, I think we can get away with something a little less than 50 meters. Let's get... Guys, if you... You, you got to let me know in the comments if you like watching this part of the process, the track building. Um, it, uh, it's tedious, me having to explain everything. Sometimes it may seem boring. To me, it seems like you guys would probably be bored with this, but, um, hey, it's, you know, if it's something you guys like, then that's fine. Let's try. Well, that was a 90. That was 90? Let's try 100. I thought I was on, like, 50 or something. Yeah, 90's not getting that. Neither 80, neither 70. Let's try 60. Yeah, you know, 60 is not going to get it either. I don't know what. If you guys know what I just did wrong, leave it in the comments. Um, I was pretty sure that we were on a 50 meter turn how we got back to 90 I don't know but up 5% back to a 50 meter turn Come on, go as far as you can. Is that as far as you're going to go?
Yeah, 50 meters is too much that way. All right, so we start off 50. And then we come out to 90. That's why I was on 90. But 60 wouldn't do it. No, because 50 almost don't come by there, does it? It doesn't come by there. Oh, that's 90. That's 80. those two trees down, get them out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. Get her some concrete here. Oh, where am I going? Way past 2.5, one of the guys. Right there. Go back to here. I better go deeper than that. Let's try that because I know that's uh this up here is way deeper than oh, let's go downhill a little bit then keep going down one percent let's see where we're at okay so we're there so I need to come back up. There we go. Oh, down, down, down. Up. Turning. I need to turn. So that, that that was five percent. So that that theo theodolite, I guess. I, guys, somebody let me know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This thing here, I guess it's uh, does its job correctly because it let me know that that was a five percent grade. Um, and that's what I needed to uh, to check this out. So now, am I still gonna be able to turn around there? Let's get higher up so we can see. Swoop around there. And I'm gonna need to come into here and also connect to that one on the way out. And also connect to that one so I can back in. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Fun, 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 fun. Let's try this stuff first. Figure out how we're going to connect these two tracks together real quick. So I need to come off of here. And start turning immediately. Is a 60 degree turn going to do it? Just might, it just might, it just might. I don't know. No, I think we're gonna have to 50. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to a 50. So we go to a 50 there.
Oh yeah, oh yeah, and we come in and oh yeah, oh yeah, we come in there like that. That'll work. Like that. And then let's get rid of this. Get rid of this as well. And I guess we can go ahead and get rid of that. Alright. Give me some more. Uh, let's go like this. Um, So that worked, but somewhere in here, I wonder if I did this. What if we did this? Get up there. That perfectly turns that. So if we did that and we went like this and then we come off of here I don't need to come off there like that I just need to go like this You need to turn it a little bit, I think. It's going in the ground. Okay, that worked. So then I can do that. And do that. Wait a minute. Let's do this. 
because we're going to bring that other line in too. So let's do this. Let's do. Um, is that turning at all? Maybe a little bit. So do we want to do it like that. Yeah, I think we do. So I think that's going to be about perfect, guys. We'll do that. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That ain't right. Not turning, so... Wrong one. There we go. That works that way. Alright, let's come from this side first. I think this is going to be a tough turn, guys. Tough, tough turn. Not going to be able to park anything there, just here and here. So, I may need to move this back just a little bit more, maybe to get this turn, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, more than that, more than 60, more than 50. Forty may do it. Let's let's go ahead and click it there and see what happens. I think we'll get away with that. think we'll get away with that.
We're going to demolish this. Put in a piece of uh, regular track here. Log camp entry and stop. See, there's your alerts, guys. Meat packing plant. This entry has stopped producing because there aren't. I don't even have a meat packing plant down, so um, that's something they may need to work on. If the plant's not down, you don't need the alert. If the plant hasn't been, uh, the industry hasn't been placed, there's really no sense in the alert, right, guys? Um, so, the devs are listening, or anybody who's in good with the devs listening or watching, um, they won't let them know. Really don't need an alert for an industry that's not been placed. It's just unnecessary alerts. That would also help help me not be irritated by the alerts if I'm not getting them for plant or for uh, industries that haven't been placed. So. Okay, now we need to finish this one up over here. So where is it at? It is, well, let's get our re-rail up here. Re-rail. It ended up right there. So I wanna go here and get some of that. Going around here. So where are we going? Where do we need to go? We need to go. So we don't quite need a 40, 50 will work, 60 will work, 70 will work. Eighty will work. Ninety? Um is ninety gonna get by that little ledge there? Maybe we better go back to eighty. One sixteen. That's a hundred and ten. That's a hundred. Let's try a hundred right there. And then we'll take off from there. We'll move it back. Hundred and forty. Maybe 130, maybe 120. Yeah, let's do 120 right to there. Then we just take this, click it in there, and it looks like we're good to go. All right, it's got our wee rail up. So let's get up here in the air and we can see what we got, guys. So there we go. We're going to come in we're gonna loop all the way around here and then come back out and back into this unless I decide to take that and loop it around and connect it in over here where we would connect in over there though um, a good size hillside right there mm -hmm. Maybe if we'd have turned it in a little more right there. I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe that was about a what? Started off there with a fifty. Um, 
let's see let's try it guys let's um switch this up you can always go back to it so we make this a 60 degree turn and we're going up a half percent didn't 60 didn't get it 16 we got us to here and then it ran into the wall so yeah 60 didn't get it so it has to be 50 to be 50 wow that's 50 oh no that's 50 yeah so it has to be 50 but then this one This one could be more like so it's eighty. So we can make it more like seventy. About a half percent.
All right. Sorry about that, guys. I'm concentrating. I'm not talking. Um, we're gonna see if we can tie this other one in. I don't know why I'm not killing these trees when I go through. Well, I'm sorry. Cutting down these trees when I go through. Let's not use the K word and get ourselves. messed up all right so we need to start cutting this around but we need to all right i'm just gonna do it with a bridge so i can all right so we don't want to go 30 40 50 60 70 80 What is 70 put it 70 puts us too much in there so it's going to be 80 So this is going to be 80 And then we're going to come around 70, 60, 50, Oh, that was smart, wasn't it? Um, we need to go up our half percent anyway. Which, I'm assuming, which we all know how that works, right? I'm assuming it's a half percent um, because All right, let's go, let's start off with this. So, we'll start off with this. We need to go around 80. All right, and then we need to go. One half percent. One half percent, and we take this around as far as we can go. Freaking trees keep getting in the way. Oh, it's Seventy. Back to about right there. I like this better. Back to there. That don't work.
do this. Let's do this by ones. Make that 75. I like that. Right there. Are we up our half percent? No, nope, there's our half percent. Then we can come down here and do this. And it should link up just fine. Right? around guys I think we made it I think we looped it around there now these trees cut out of the way and we'll go take a look at what we got. Alrighty. Let's take a look. need to connect that right there and that we are looped around we can come in here and get lumber going around and go out come in here and get uh, cordwood loop on around and go out I like it like it I like it all right let's get some we'll take this on around here and connect it to here. There we go. Now we're looped around. There we go, guys. We have made it to the sawmill. And we are how far? An hour and a half in. All righty. We're going to call it there, guys. Um, I'll probably fill in the rest of this track here off camera. I'll get rid of this real quick because we don't need it. So we'll put in a regular piece of track here. But I will put in the rest of this stuff here off camera. Just going to be a little side track here, a little siding. Uh, for park a couple cars or something here uh, and then we will uh, come back next time we can uh, maybe run some trains that will be cool so stop it there 
put in our wall without rails. 6.8, not 7. 6.8. Did that go all the way underneath the thing? It did. So that means this track's going to have to go back about, oh, I don't know, what do you think, 2 meters? One meter, you think? Let's do one and a half. Yeah, let's do one and a half. One and a half meters. Let's do one and a half meters. Now we'll put that wall in without that. And we'll go 6.8. And then put in our I hate when it does that you have to put these things in there and keep putting them in there There it is, finally, you get one. Then you gotta go delete all of these. It's another thing devs need to fix. Oh my gosh, how many of them I put in there? There it goes. There you go. And 6.8 wasn't even long enough. So what we gotta go, 6.9? seven even hmm anyway guys should call that an episode like I say next time we come back we can actually maybe rent some train I'll go through here off camera probably and uh, clear the track of all the trees um, and then cut down the trees uh, not K them and then uh, so next episode we can run some trains guys thanks for watching um, if you've been here before thanks for coming back hope I'm uh, hope, hope I'm living up to your expectations as a content creator um, uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share uh, if you're new to the channel thank you for being here please like subscribe and share um, I'm still working on, um, if you've been here before, you've heard me talk about this already. I'm still, I'm working on putting up other ways that you can uh, help support the channel. Um, as soon as I get them up, I'll leave them in the description below. Um, until then, guys, the best way to help this channel out, and even, even if I get them up, the best way to help this channel out, guys, is to subscribe and share the channel. Um. And, you know, of course, like the videos, but subscribe and share is the best way. Gets my videos out to more people. Um, so, and I see that uh, I didn't flip over to that other screen this time. So we are on the uh, we are definitely on the game screen this time. So you guys can see the end of the end of the. Uh, end of the video um so as always guys be kind to each other love each other take care of each other god bless and we will see you next time guys